Hi. Today I'm in the forest and it's April and it's still there is no leaves on the trees. So for knowing what type of tree we are looking at, there should be some other ways to recognize some of the trees during the winter through their bark and today we won't talk about this issue let us start with one of the most common woods in Canadian forests beach it has elephant skin type of bark if you see there is no serration people carve their initials or a broken heart or something over this tree so it is very um, obvious that is a beech tree even in winters you, do, you can't miss beech tree nothing in Canadian forest is like this one without the bark with no stretch so and if you see it's they are normally huge trees they grow tall like this guy and they branch almost early compared to trees like black cherry that it branches way over the canopy okay black cherry my favorite wood has an appearance as is very special first it's dark like roasted cornflakes and if you look this is one of the oldest tree of this forest but there are others that they are like roasted cornflakes another black cherry No branching and goes there. These two trees, beech and black cherry, are very common and very easy to detect through their bark. The third one that is even easier than this one is birch, white birch. Those trees that they have a very distinctive white bark I will show you today but we don't have any birch in this forest other than that then barks are not that easy for detection of trees they can help but the most obvious type of trees I look at the sap here of black cherry you can eat them they are tasteless but nutritious now what I want to show you is a cut black cherry tree uh, cut it here it was rotten it fell down look the wood is reddish brown with beautiful grains almost a hardwood that is soft and easy to work and tons of colonial wooden artifact that is still around after 100 years is made of black cherry. Have a good day.